Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Sam Keerley and this is the Press Review. Today we look at an 800 word op-ed appearing in the New York Times titled What the West Gets Wrong About Russia, written by former world chess champion Garry Kasparov. In the heady days of the Cold War, Americans tended to view Soviet decision making as a black box. You know what goes in, you know what comes out, but you are clueless about what is happening inside. Kasparov cites Gleb Pavlovsky, Putin's former spin doctor, who says these days the post-Soviet Kremlin is still enigmatic but is no longer strategic. For Mr Pavlovsky, Kremlin policy is fashioned rather like the music of a jazz group. Its continuing improvisation is an attempt to survive the latest crises. According to Pavlovsky, Putin lost interest in day-to-day decision-making in Russia. What animates Putin's Kremlin is the assertion of its right to break international rules. In fact, breaking the rules without being punished is the Kremlin's peculiar definition of being a great power. So Russia is driven not by a search for external power, but by internal weakness and by a lack of vision. Putin has made any political alternative to himself unthinkable. There is no Russia today if there is no Putin. The Russian political system implicitly functions on the assumption that the president is immortal. Kremlin Deputy Chief of Staff Vyacheslav Volodin. Kasparov agrees with Pavlovsky. The experience of the catastrophic collapse of the Soviet Union rather than geopolitical interests or values is important for understanding Russia's strategic behaviour. This has been Sam Keerley with the Press Review. We will see you again tomorrow for another edition.